Channing Hamilton, Katia Woods Couple Soul Show. Um, I saw this film when I was 25 and in New York, in Greenwich Village. And I was thinking to myself, um, I knew this world, but I had a lot of parents and I saw it with my parents and my parents were like, you know. So talk about what that was like just initially because, you know, it was pre-internet and it wasn't like you could share information like that unless you knew people or knew people adjacent in that scene. So talk about what that was like being discovered for lack of a better word. Yeah, well, thanks for having me. And um, it's nice to meet you, Katia. Nice to um, meet you. You know, when, 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 when the film came out and I remember, uh, um, uh, people in Angelica, we would get an Angelica free and sneak in, you know. Um, and I remember I went maybe two or three weeks after it, maybe like a month or something after it uh, 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 it came out in the theater. And uh, we all went down there. It was me, Justin, a bunch of us, Harold. It was a bunch of us. We, we skated from Washington Square Park and we went to go check it out because they had already saw it, but I didn't see it yet in the theater, right? And uh, I sat there, we were all together, and the, the theater was packed, and I'm watching the film, and I knew, I, in my, it, within myself, like, like it, it, was, it was extremely overwhelming, right? It, it, and it brought up so many traumas prior to skateboarding and, you know, meeting Larry, and it, it, was, it was a bit overwhelming. And then when we went outside, we were standing uh, by the doors, the exit, and then um, people started recognizing us. And for me, that didn't work. That was, that was, that was, that didn't feel authentic, you know? And it made me, and I was always pretty introverted. I, I still am in many ways. Um, and that, you know, after that experience, it was like, for me, it, I, I needed to reflect more, you know? Uh, yeah. yeah, I needed to reflect. And um, yeah, I think that's what that, I mean, it was exciting, but um, it was also, you know, it's like, 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 like th this is a crazy analogy, but I'm, I'm, I'm going off the deep end, but it's like, you know, some people get joy in hurting people. Like, they, right? They get joy in it, or they get joy in, um, uh, uh, you know, setting up some type of deal and getting the most out of it, and you losing everything. No problem that you lost everything. And you can't take care of your family, but I got like, like some people get joy of it. I didn't get no joy uh, after that. Was like my ego was like, no, nope, you don't want it, and I and I really had to be honest and authentic with what I was hearing in myself, you know. I mean, I hear you. It seems as though, even though you had similar backgrounds to Harold and Justin, you seem to have a better sense of self. Like you just explained, you were like, something about this is not what we think it's going to be. Uh, your story is not that much different than the kids that were in Flash and the B-Boys, when they talked about, you know, how they were, for lack of a better word, used for having the breakdancing in there for some authenticity. They got their moment and then it was like, we got what you needed and now you're on your own. Uh, talk a little bit how you were able to, for lack of, again, for lack of a better word, you were able to say, this ain't it, but your friends kind of didn't see what it was, that the people were using you for their own thing. You know, what's interesting about that is, and I, and I the, the, the process of making this film was about 12 years. And I went through a, I went through so many transformations within that process. And what I've come to the realization is, is that um, I was a part of the problem, right? I could say all day it was this person or that person, but it takes two, right? Because it's 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 it, 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 and, and this is just how nature works, right? It's not just one. It, it, it it's it's like it, it takes two, like the song, right? It takes two to make a thing, right? So what was my part in, in this exploitation, so to say, 
right? Because did, did I will it? Did I accept it? I signed my name on things. I took pay, right? I took what came with it, you know? The reality is it's, um, I, I was able to, and, and, and don't get me wrong. I even tried to like go on some auditions after, going against what my gut feeling is telling me. But I'm like, yo, just try it because, and people are like, yo, you should try it. You were in a movie, you could get more. And I'm like, uh, okay, I'm gonna listen to them. Being insecure with knowing what I know, which is like, no, that's not gonna work for you. And then learning the hard way by going through it that it didn't work. And then it was just like, okay, so what? What? what is important at this moment, you know? And at that moment, it was like, healing, you know, healing from before kids, you know, healing from before skateboarding, you know, healing from, you know, uh, you know, growing up, being born in the South Bronx and growing up in Harlem during the 70s and living on Avenue D in Baruch in 77 and moving up to the projects in Harlem in 79 and living there for 19 years. That's, that, that was a lot, you know. I'm, I'm surprised that I'm even sane still, you know, but it was those things for me that I knew. Um, and, and again, like I've had my trials and tribulations and, you know, dealing, pr processing how I react to things, you know, and not, not my, my codependency, you know, and um, I felt like, like I was responsible for it. I couldn't blame the white men, the Illuminati, the KKK, the, the triple fat goose, like, stop, man. Just take responsibility, Hamilton. And it's going to work out. When, once you do that, you're going to free yourself, you know? And I knew that, you know? And I had little things that I could do, you know, with just, like, changing my diet. You know what I mean? Exercising, learning how to sit up straight, like, simple things. No, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. Can we also talk about, there's a huge mental health component here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're, we're, we're talking about the pandemic here, but, you know, our generation, we're like, this is our second round at a pandemic. That was like AIDS, you know, uh, crack, all that stuff that in the New York that it's like now, I'm sure there's parts of you when you go to New York, you're like, what in the world? Times Square is so neat, so clean, you know what I mean? And people are like, I want to go to Times Square. And you would never say that back in the 70s and 80s. Talk about the mental health capacity because what Harold and Justin and, and probably you and a lot of the kids were suffering from was, in my opinion, post-traumatic stress syndrome, but it was just a different type. And we weren't as informed as we are about saying, hey, go get help, or this is how you deal with that, not drugs and alcohol. What you yeah. have is not alone. Do you feel like if we were a little bit, um, not, not to try to play God, but do you think if we were more aware of it back then, we might have been able to help these young men better? Instead of judging or dismissing, we would have worked with, led with understanding. 100, 100%. You basically answered, <laughs> you answered your, your, your question. It's, you know what? I mean, I got to say, because I appreciate your honesty in this so much. But there was a part of me that was boohooing for Harold, boohooing for just, especially Justin's story. I was like, what is happening, right? And um, do you feel that you have a responsibility or you, as a friend to be their oracle, to kind of make sure that their story, that they don't get dismissed in this, in the celebration of the film? Absolutely. And the whole thing for me, why I focused why we focused on them as well is because um, so you and I and everyone who's going to watch this, we can make a mistake and then we could reflect on it and change the behavioral pattern, right? Justin and Harold cannot do that anymore. And other people who are no longer here, they can no longer do it. But there are going to be people who are going to see this and could relate to Justin, can relate to Harold, could be like, I'm Harold right now. I'm Justin right now. I'm Priscilla right now. I'm Ronald. I'm Hamilton. I'm Jamal. I'm Ryan. And could make that change now, right? Like for me, this is a process. I'm still making change, right? I'm still going through my uh, 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 traumas and working through them, 
peacefully, not being that not aggressively, but peacefully. It's a process, right? It's like making a painting or 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 riding your bike from point A to point B. It's a process. You don't get there at zero to sixty. It doesn't happen, you know. Um, and I and 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 I and I I wanted people to see how powerful Justin and Harold were in their because it was being around them and the power the 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 the, 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 the I would say the psychic and emotional powers that I I, I received from them during our uh, uh, um, you know uh, 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 our period on this earth plane, so to say, you know that helped me to 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 to, to, to it strengthened me to to, to 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 take responsibility because those were two incredibly strong individuals. You know what I mean? You have to be really strong. It's true. You got to be really strong to be at a hotel, right? To be going through so much mental and emotional distress that you will put your put a noose around your neck on a door. That's powerful. Not I. I don't have the strength to do that. I'm not built to do that, you know. But I understood, and I and I hope I get. We gave some insight into how that it leads to that. You know what I mean? Which is a part of the human experience. He's not wrong for doing that. You know, was I a bit pissed off? Yeah, but I also understood it, you know? And as time went on, I had to understand it more and accept that that he had free will and he chose to do that, but understand why he chose that, you know? And 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 one and for me it's like, you know, the same thing with Harold. You know what I mean? I had a mom who did drugs too. I had I had that at home. I had that in the neighborhood as well, you know. Um, um, but I had I'd only had them to 12 and a half, but I still had them. You know what I mean? Like, so in in some ways, I kind of had a, I don't want to say a one-up, but I had something as a reference to not go totally off the deep end. You know what I mean, and 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 that's why you know, um, like the, the the story about Harold and Justin is how I experienced it within how everyone saw it. I can't speak for how everyone saw it. I can only speak for how I saw it and experienced it, and that's what I experienced. That's what I saw, and I felt that that is what needed to be told. That is what. In, that was the, the the inspiration pushing me to, uh, to 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 follow this through. I think you gave a um, beautiful love letter to your friends, and you were um, I think it's incredible, brave of you to be honest, because it's hard to 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 kind of like take a mirror and really expose all your skeletons. And I I hope that because you know there's a lot of kids going through this, find some inspiration and feel seen. So I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me and, you know, um, it made this film do some healing, you know, for everybody um, associated. Thank, Thank you. you. That's 10 minutes already? Mm -hmm. We had a good conversation though. You were awesome. Thank you so much. Have oh, thank you. Day. Oh, you too. Thank you very much. Thanks, Kathy. I have to go.